welcome back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can run this Cusco cli on a vps and be part of this 11,000 people that are currently running this their node and yes the node is incentivized which means that by running this node your endpoints and those points will correlate to the Cusco token when they want to tg by qt of 2025 but before i proceed instead of you just waiting for me to make content and upload on youtube you can just follow me on twitter with the link below and you'll be able to get the latest crypto updates on airdrop and any latest alpha that you need to know you can also join my telegram community and my whatsapp channel with the link below this video and by doing that you will get the latest alpha the latest node the latest airdrop update at your fingertips and also don't forget to like this video and drop a sub to the channel for more free informative content like this. So now, before you start running this CLI on a VPS, you will first need to understand the hardware requirement and it says that a GPU with a list below at least 16 gig virtual RAM, then the RAM is 16 gig, then the space is 30 gig free space which is SSD and is stable 100 MB per second. You can also go down if you want to understand more about the requirements. So the next step is to come to Contabo and get a VPS with a link below. So you can see that VPS 2 matches the requirements 16 gig RAM and 400 gig SSD with two snapshots, you understand? So you need to get VPS 2. Then after that, you select the period of time you want to run the node for you understand so i would recommend at least three months then you scroll down and generate a password and don't forget to save that password because that is a password you will use to access your putty which is the ssh now as a new user you'll be prompt to reply an email with your details then with your passport and everything so you just have to check your email there's a specific email whereby they will request for your details so you just have to send them with everything you need and wait for feedback and once you have successfully verified your account you'll be able to log into the vps so coming back to the documents you can see that you can actually run this node on a docker but you will need the nvidia gpu but since we are not running this node or we don't want to run this node on a gpu We'll be using the Cusco CLI, which you can just run on a CPU, but make sure that it is on the Contable VPS 2. And if you are running this node, make sure that you are not running another node because this node will not work. You understand? So I'll be following this guide, and also I'll be following a guide which I will also link down below. You understand? But the first thing first is to create an account. So you come to the Cusco website, I will also link down below. Then you log in or you create an account. You understand? So you can see that I just logged into my account because I already have accounts before. And I've actually explored this interface so that I'll be able to understand everything. Now, coming to my worker, you can see that I have a worker node that is not active, which is offline, you understand? So I'll come to the settings side, then archive the worker node because I want to delete it, then create a new one, you understand? So I click on create worker node and this is where you can just type in the name, then select the the install type and create a worker node, you understand? So I'll enter Cusco CLI, then put it on CLI instead of Docker. So you click on create worker and wait for it to load up. And with that, you can see that it has already been created, you understand? So that is it for creating the worker node so you can just go through the details instruction log gener generation and benchmark and settings you understand so for you to get the command you need to open launch worker then this is where you get the command for cli and the command for docker understand so it's actually easy now the next thing to do is to log into your vps which i will just skip because i've already talked about it multiple times and as you can see i just log into my contable so I will type in clear to get space for the screen. Then I will type in the first command, sudo apt update, which is the first command you need to type in anytime you log into your VPS and you want to run any node. So the next command is sudo apt upgrade dash y. So I will just keep that part because it's taking long, longer than expected. So after that, you need to enter this first command, which is install the CLI. Then you just have to copy, then paste, then wait for it to load up. So you can see that it's downloading the CLI, which is a Cusco CLI on the VPS and setting everything in place so that you'll be able to run the 
node, which is a step two. Now remember that this process can take up to 10 minutes, depending on your internet speed, you understand? So all you just need to do is to enter the, install the CLI command, then wait for it to load up and with that you can see that it's done. Now next up is the second command, so you copy it, then you paste it inside your VPS. Now for this node, I will recommend you don't open any screen, I just recommend you buy the VPS, you open it, then start running the node and don't share this vps with any other node you understand because it's not gonna work i tried it you understand it did not work so i would recommend if you buy this vps you buy it for Cusco alone you understand my point and with that you just have to wait for some minutes this is the part that it can take up to like another 15 minutes you understand depending on your internet speed and now if you are running node and you see this uh, unfortunately error occur on the vps on the putty it means that your internet connection is unstable you understand so after running the node i will just come back to my dashboard then you can see that it's still offline so i will try to refresh now remember the node is still running on and it's not active yet you understand so you're just trying to look for a spot to activate you understand so after i refresh the Cusco dashboard i'm just gonna wait for it now you can see that it's showing initializing which means it's waiting for the node to be active, you understand? So there's a live session instances, one. Then the randomness is, uh, reputation is 100%, you understand my point, the version and everything. So when I come to the instances, you can see the period of time, which is like three minutes ago. And with that being said, while running the node, when you start seeing this green stuff, you just know that your node is active, you understand? You just know that the node is running. And if you encounter any error like me, you just have to pay close attention to the error. Then you'll be able to understand which error that, which what happened or what you need to do, you understand? And all you just need to do is to click on launch worker. Then you run the command again of starting the node, you understand? And wait for it to load up. It's going to take another few, few minutes, but it's definitely going to work understand then you refresh your Cusco console and with that your node will be active and you will start contributing to the Cusco network and start any points and remember that those points will correlate to the TG, to their token when they want to TG by Q2 of 2025 so the more points you earn the more token reward you will get so in that case I will recommend you run this Cusco node for at least Three months, you understand. And also, while running the Cusco node, you can also pay attention to the leaderboard so that you will understand your position. So that is exactly how you can set up your Cusco worker node and start any point on this Cusco network for their potential airdrop. So if you know this video was helpful, make sure you show it by liking this video and drop a sub to the channel. And also, make sure you join all my social communities with the link below. And with all this in mind, as I might already know, I'm DMO. So thank you for watching and see you on my next video.